Okay, it's Anna and back with part two of, you know, emotionally immature men, aka man babies. Okay, so we left off in the last video on number seven and now we're on eight. And the eighth sign that you might be married to or dating a man baby, aka emotionally immature man, is that they have poor boundaries with their family. So this is how this can look is that they're constantly beholden to their family. Like they always put their family in front of you. Like they've got to do something for their parents. They've got to do this for their parents, that for their parents. Or they take a lot of weight of what their parents say about the relationship to heart. Okay. So it's like they don't have an identity outside of the fact that they're the child of these people. Um, and it's kind of sad to see. Like at a certain age, you know, kind of not acceptable. Depending on the culture, I will say that. So some cultures are different and in those cases, this does not apply, okay? But I'm talking about in America, where it's an America, you know, the traditional kind of family thing, which, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, this is not, you know, where your parents don't make all the decisions for you. Like, and you don't just run home to mom and dad every time you gotta water plants or whatever, okay? So the next one, this is a big one. And this one is really frustrating is playing games, intentional games. Like a sign of an emotionally immature man is that they're going to like constantly be testing you to see if you're loyal to them all the time, but it doesn't really matter because no matter what you do, no matter how many times you pass those tests, it's still gonna keep happening. So they're never gonna actually ever believe their own testing method. Their, their scientific method is fundamentally flawed here um, and they should just stop, but they're so insecure and so in need of approval that, you know, they'll keep doing it until one day it's like, and then eventually it'll push you away because you're just frustrated with it. It's freaking annoying. It's not, it's very unattractive to be honest. Um, and then like, so part of this um, testing of, and playing games would be like ghosting you, giving mixed signals, purposely trying to make you jealous, shit like that. Like that's high school, like high school. Stop, stop guys. Jesus Christ. The next one is that they hold grudges. Now, this is going back to the fact that they are not good at communication. So when you're not good at communicating your feelings because you're emotionally immature, man baby, you um, are holding things inside because you don't know how to regulate your emotions and you don't know how to just say something without being an asshole, right? So instead of just like coming out saying, hey, you hurt my feelings, you know, you'll instead yell at them. Yell, they'll yell at you and like call you names, which then you lose the point because you're not listening anymore at that point. Like, I don't know about you, but when someone raises their voice at me and starts calling me names, I just shut off. Like, I don't listen. Like, they could be telling me anything and I don't give a fuck. Like, I just don't care. Like, don't yell at me. Don't disrespect me like that. I'm not listening to you. Your, your words are useless, okay? So when people can't do that, when they can't regulate that and they can't just have a conversation, when they're upset, they have to yell and scream and act like a child, um, that, then they tend to not, you know, do it because they know that they're bad at it. So instead... They let it pile up and seethe inside them until they get to the point where they're just like, you know, they bring it up a year later, like something you did that they that bothered them that they just couldn't bring themselves to talk to you about. And they'll pull it out of their ass, like out of nowhere in the middle of a fight that has nothing to do with it. Right. You know, like, well, you disrespected me that one time at that family picnic, you know, some shit. And they're like, what? What are you talking about? They've been thinking about that for a year. OK. Yeah. Sad. It's really sad. Holding grudges, okay? And you can see this usually in other people. You'll see them do this to other people before they do it to you. You'll see them also cut people off, like just straight up cut them off. Like, you know, oh, I don't like them anymore. I'm blocking them. I'm just blocking them, you know? And, and these are like friends. And you're like, you're just blocking your friends? Like you don't even talk to them about it? Like they don't care. Immature, because they can't have a conversation to discuss why they're upset. So they'd rather just ghost people and like, you know, so that. So if, these, if someone in your life ghosts people all the time, goes radio silent, goes MIA with no explanation, that's a pretty good indicator that you're dealing with somebody that is emotionally stunted, okay? Um, so that's sign 10. So 11 is that they take everything personally. Like, taking everything personal is one of the biggest signs of emotional immaturity. Does, like, when you try to talk to your partner about something, do they say that you're trying to fight with them when you're not? Like, do they get upset with you when you approach a situation, even if you're super calm and even friendly about it? Because... Now they're saying like, oh my God, I just can never do anything right for you. Yeah, that's, that's immaturity. Um, this is 
Again, going back to the fact that they can't express their feelings properly. So they don't view themselves as part of a team and they think that everything that they do like is about them, like all of it. So if you say something is, makes you unhappy, they're like, it's a personal attack on them and that they are just useless pieces of crap. Like it's constant all or nothing thinking whenever you try to bring something up that's upsetting to you or like, you know, you want to get solved. So you basically can never solve any problems here. But when they have a problem with you, you better believe you're going to hear all about it, right? Um, sign 12 is that he's a poor listener. He doesn't listen to you. Like, doesn't listen. You could be talking and then like, He'll just be like, uh-huh, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. and then you'll say, okay, fine, like, what did I just say? And they cannot tell you, can't tell you, you know, or like your birthday or something is coming up and, you know, I don't know, they say they forgot, but you literally told them the day before that tomorrow was your birthday, but they forgot, you know, like that kind of, like, what, why, why is it that hard? Just pay attention real quick, you know, like, wow. And then, uh, sign 12 or 13, sorry, is that he's unsupportive. He's unsupportive. Will not, um, like, support you, does not cheer you on, is not your cheerleader, always itches to criticize, push you down, like, you know, make you think that what you're doing is stupid, or, like, um, he points out your flaws instead of the successes, or whenever you have a success, he'll be like, oh, yeah, but too bad this thing, and, like, bring up some negative about it. Um, because they have to feel, the only way they can feel good about themselves is by putting other people down. Like, because it's all about them again like they don't get it they don't get it that this is a team effort and your success is their success and vice versa right no it's like if you're successful they don't want it they don't like it you know um guys always say that they want a successful and smart you know partner but they're lying when they say that most of the time because when they get that they resent it and so in order for you to have as a smart intellectual and capable um, in both career and personal life kind of woman, if that's you, you have to be really careful with the kind of men you pick because the ones that are very, like very, you know, like fragile egos, they're gonna hate you for being the very thing that they said they wanted. Seriously, it happens all the time. I tr Trust me, I know firsthand. And it's so dumb and like really disappointing, really disappointing. It's like, okay, cool. So I guess you just want someone? Yeah, I get it. You don't want, you want someone that's never going to challenge you. I got it. Okay, so that's bad. If they're unsupportive, it's just, psh, see ya. And then um, the last one is like, you can't engage in deep conversations because everything you say irritates them. Everything you say is, a, is an insult. Like, you know, they, they say that they want you to be vulnerable with them. And when you are, all they're doing is taking that information to use against you later. Um, so that because they're doing that, they hella won't do it with you. Like, because they know what they're doing with the information that, that you get when you have a deep conversation. They know that they're taking it, hoarding it for, you know, a nice surprise later um, at you. But so they think that you're doing the same thing. So they'll never open up to you either. Like, they're just constantly like, no, because I do it, they're going to do it too kind of thing. So why does this happen? Why do these guys, man, babies act this way? There's a couple reasons. The four main ones are one, they have no life experience, like they're sheltered, whatever. Second one is they over rely on other people, like they're helicopter parents, whatever. Third one is they have lack of role models. Maybe they grew up in a broken home, whatever, you know, like that's standard. And then the fourth one is that they have poor self esteem. That's it. Yeah. So these all stem from like childhood stuff, of course. And it's all stuff that could be fixed if they would recognize that they had a problem, right? But they won't. So, I mean, hopefully. They do. I really do. I hope that because I'm sure a lot of men out there would be great partners if they could just get over themselves and get out of their own way. But, you know, it is what it is. So anyways, if you've experienced this, if you have any other signs um, that you think are relevant to man baby behavior, um, please feel free to put them in the comments. And, you know, I don't know. Let's, I'd love to hear your stories, too. So you've heard mine. <laughs> All right, guys. See you later. Blessed to be.